Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram. And welcome to episode 38. I did check. I did check. Clearly my brain is not all there. Um, today is Friday the 29th of September 2023. It is a public holiday here in here in Victoria, Grand Final Friday. Um, so we have the day off. Um, if there is a little bit of cuts during this, I apologize. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Um, I woke up this morning feeling like I'd been hit by a truck. So it's all fun and games until we get sick. Um, if you are new, welcome. Welcome to my channel. This is where I talk about my cross stitch and whatever else I do. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back to another one of my, uh, hot mess videos, <laughs> cause today is going to be one of those. Um, I think it's going to be long cause I have a giant pile next to me after the quick catch up that was last time. Um, so hopefully, hopefully not too long, but we will see. Um, yeah, life, life has been crazy. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, uh, I posted a story on Monday evening, my time. So whatever time it was your time. Um, my mum collapsed at, uh, spotlight, which is one of our local craft stores. Um, and was rushed to hospital, which was very scary. Um, the CCTV footage from her collapse is horrible. Not a fun time. Um, she ended up having a massive seizure. Um, and was discharged on the Tuesday. And then yesterday we ended up back in emergency. So it's been a long week. <laughs> um, I'm tired. She is tired. She's at home resting. Um, yeah, life happens, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, she's doing a lot better, which is good. Um, we'll just see what happens. Um, Ross and I have been setting up our house. Um, he's been building a lot of Lego. Um, it's been... It's been busy. I'm and I'm so tired. It's just I need I need to sleep. Like I think I need a good I don't know sixteen hours. We'll, we'll see. Um. Yeah, that's literally essentially all that's been happening. There's just been a lot going on. So I'm gonna jump into what I've been doing. Um. I decided to make a bunch of Q-snap, Q-snap crime guards, giant scrunchies as my husband calls them. Um, so I did make a bunch of eight by eight Q-snap crime guards. There's a theme. Um, this was just, this was just a fat quarter that came in a Disney bundle. This is going to be really bad. It's just stars. This one I can show you more will come up later. This is some hole. Then there's this one, which is my absolute favorite fabric so much so that I bought it twice without even realizing. Um, this one is one that I had from last year. And this one is a new one as well. Um, all right, my phone is ringing and it's my family. So I really need, quickly need to answer that in case anything's happened to my mom and I will be back. Okay, I am back. No emergency, thankfully. Um, mom just wanted to check in. Um, she's doing okay. Um, the, <laughs> the craft store called her uh, just to check in and see how she's doing, which was really nice. Um, anyway, my giant scrunchies. This is what I was talking about before, before I had to cut. Um, I made them. I made, so these are all eight by eight. Um, I made a bunch of 11 by oh, a bunch. I made one 11 by 11 Q snap. 
crime guard giant scrunchy whatever my brain is like not here today um but it's currently on a q snap um that is holding a whip that i will show you um it's currently at the bottom of my pile so i will show you that um i also did a little bit of uh storage rearranging um i got this from amazon i'm pretty sure i want to say it was hannah Alston home. I hope I'm pronouncing her last name properly. Um, I believe she has a, um, I think she has a flush tube now, which is super fancy. Um, if she does, I'll link her down below. I'm 99% I'm sure she released an episode unless I'm imagining that this occurred. Um, anyway, she, I'm pretty sure it was her posted bead storage. It came in like these, these little like Tic Tac containers. Um, anyway, I bought this on Amazon and sorted out all of my beads. So we have two full, three full rows. Um, so now they're all in one place, which is really good. Um, so they're my finishes. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's really all I've done. I've been working on whips. Uh, I had a new start, which was another stitch along. Um, and then I've been doing my AB Singo whip go and prepping for Athena's 13 stitches of Halloween. Um, so I have all that set to go. Um, as part of uh, October, the Black Needle Society is hosting uh, Humans vs. Zombies Cross Stitch Edition. So... Um, this is going up on the 1st of October, my time. So it should be the 30th of September US time. You may still have an opportunity to join. Um, jump on the Black Needle Society Facebook page. There is um, an event. There is um, rules and a form for you to fill out for your availability. Um, and essentially it's a 10 minute stitching challenge in which a zombie challenges humans and if the zombie gets more stitches than the human, that human then turns into a zombie and can challenge other humans. Um, it's going to be so much fun. I have my project ready to go for that. It is um, Welcome to Tatooine by Country Magic Stitch. It's all in the Q-snap ready to go. It is a tent stitch project and it is block colours which is perfect for challenge stitching and it's not like frog warts where it's an hour long stitching challenge um this is a 10 minute speed challenge so 10 stitch for me is the way to go on that um it's going to be interesting <laughs> um jen frog stitcher is the zombie the beginning zombie so she can she's a speedy stitcher so um We'll see we'll see what happens um, I'm really excited to play um, my September black needle box is in the country it has cleared customs we're just waiting for it to be delivered so that video should hopefully go up I want to say next week but it depends on when it gets delivered um, those items those overstock items um, will go into the vault on the first of the month so you likely won't see my video before they go into the vault however Use my code STITCHBYLIZ5 to get yourself 5% off your vault orders. And trust me, you want to be in that vault on the 1st of October because the stuff in this box is, oh my God. Um, I have seen uh, Lynn's unboxing and Chloe's unboxing. Um, yeah. You need to be in the vault on the 1st. Use my code STITCHBYLIZ5. Get yourself a discount from the vault. Yep. Yep, yep. All right, I'm gonna jump into my stitching. Um, and I forgot the cover photo for the very first thing, which I thought was next to me. It's not, it's in my lounge. I know exactly where it is, which is really annoying. However, it's fine. Um, I will insert a photo if we have to, but this is Frederick the Literate by Dimensions. You will have seen him. I show him every week um, since my bestie said I can show him to you. Um, I'm stitching this for her mum. Um, it is out of the Q-snap simply because I need to stitch some extra fabric onto the bottom just so I can get it comfortably in my Q-snap because Dimensions does not 
provide enough fabric in their kits. Um, anyway, this is Frederick the Literate. <laughs> so he has a face. <laughs> I'm gonna fold this in half. So I finished off Freddy. Um, I finished off some of the back stitching in this book and then I've moved down to the bottom shelf. Now, the bottom of this, I think finishes around here. So there'll be like an inch of fabric underneath, which is, it's fine for framing, but not enough for the Q-snap. Um, so I'm just gonna stitch some black cotton onto there or whatever, whatever color fabric, just so I can get it comfortably in the Q-snap. Um, for the bottom and then this side. This side's fine, it's not a problem um, to, to get it in. I left a two inch margin um, on the side. Like they it's just, they don't give you enough space. So this is where Freddy's at. Um, he's maybe a quarter of the way done, which is like next level for a dimensions kit because I am definitely not that speedy, but I did use max stitch and I did use the onion skin and I charted it and it's pattern keeper compatible for me. Yay, I'm just using the paper pattern to do the back stitching, but it is all in there. I can use my tablet and I love it because I do not like stitching from paper patterns. Um, you all know this. This is literally what I've been doing all morning is recharting paper charts to make them pattern keeper compatible so I don't lose my mind. Um, all right. Next up was one of my AB Singo goals. This was on for quite a few calls during the month of September. And it is the Stephen King House by the Witchy Stitcher. Um, this came in um, Athena's Little Box of Horrors um, Halloween box from the Black and Needle Society last year. Um, it's now available on Witchy's uh, website. So this is what it looks like. This is stored in my Lynn X Stitches bag. Um, it's next to me. It's amazing. Uh, and I've got Ginger Stitch, AU, Planchette, and Rainbow Floss Drops in there. All of the floss, because they fancy. Um, and this is where I'm up to. I'm stitching this on an 18 count Volcano Stitching Mystery Fabric. Um, It's amazing. So not much was done. Um, excuse my hanging threads. Um, but I worked down to do all of the black in this room and across here. Um, I don't know what happened with my gridding and why I cut off, why I only left two inches on this side and three inches on this side. Who knows? Who knows what happened? But it's fine. Um, it fits in the Q-snap. It's a little bit uncomfortable on the edge, but it is what it is. So yes, that is where I'm up to. I'm stitching this for my bestie. Um, I'm not a Stephen King fan. She is a Stephen King super fan. So I'm stitching it for her. As soon as I saw it, I, as soon as I saw it, I knew I'm like, yes, <laughs> need to do that for her. Um. Okay, next up was also a AB Singo call for September. That is the Gryffindor Common Room from Green Terrace. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me where they can get this chart. Green Terrace has their own website now um, and they are all on there. So Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff and Slytherin. Um, all those common rooms are on there. Um, but Green Terrace actually have quite a few nice charts. Um, I made a mistake of going onto the website because now I have a whole bunch that I want to stitch. <laughs> anyway, this is where I'm up to. So, what I actually worked on <laughs> was the Gryffindor sign. So I filled in all of this, this yellow, and then I've started working in here just so I can get this part done to match that and then I'll be able to go back and work on this panel and then this panel and then the middle panel um but who knows I'm tempted to like color complete whatever's in the Q-snap and go from there um this does not have any back stitching on it as yet there is a ton of back stitching on these 
um, and they are half cross we're called and then full cross we're called just to give it dimension um, this is on an 18 count white because it's my gem um, all right next up was a one of my whip go calls for October um, and it is reaping love from Silver Creek samplers this is what it looks like um, I'm stitching this just with the called for DMC. I'm not using any of the over dyes. Um, I'm stitching this on a 16 count cash by Forbidden Fiber Co. It's in the Q-snap because today is day three of my whip go goal. So I don't think I'm going to get this finished today, which means you'll see this again in October because this is going to be one of my whips for 13 stitches for Halloween. Um, so last night I was working in the E and I finished the skull. Um, so this will get a tiny bit done today. Um, like I said, I'm not really in a stitchy mood at the moment. I've been recharting my charts uh, since about nine o'clock this morning. Um, I don't know. I'm just enjoying that at the moment. I'm not really feeling super, super stitchy at the moment, which is really annoying. But I think I may have burnt myself out with the last whip I'm going to show you because that was a lot of stitching in a very small amount of time. Um... All right, next up, take a breath, Liz, um, is my, was another one of my whip go calls for September. This is, this was a stitch along that came out of Frogwarts last year and it is Wama Wink. Um, Wama Wink is a llama tour from, um, from the TV show Centaur World, which is still hands down the weirdest thing I've ever watched, um, Real, real bizarre. Um, I'm stitching this on a 16 count Fiesta from Crafty Lini. This was a fabric of the month fabric. It's getting blown out. It's like brighter. There we go. It's crazy. And I love it. Wama Wink is also crazy. <laughs> um, so I put in the rest of this arm, filled in her ears, filled in her eyes. And I'm starting in and then I'll just work my way down. It's just very blocky and I need to be in a mood to stitch this. Uh, no problema. Needle minder is from Inchworm Designs. But absolutely crazy fabric. I love it. Perfect for Wama Wink. She cray. <laughs> um, next up is not a Whip Go Goal and not an AB Singo Goal. But I worked on this a little bit. Um, in between stitching, how am I going between stitching? In between filming my last video, um, before, before I was working on something else, I can't remember what it was. Um, and that is the Rare Horror Fly Stitch Along from Noctiflora Designs. I am well behind on this. Um, don't keep up on stitch alongs. I mean, I did keep up on the Dark Queen, but that's probably the only one. Um, and this is where I'm up to. So I've done one of the little carnivorous caterpillars and I'm working on one of the gornets. Um, three parts have been released. Still need to do the other caterpillar on this side, which is part one. The other gornet and a little motif up here, which is part two. Part three is one of the empress eyeball moths down here. I don't know what part four is yet. It has been released. So this is an 18 count volcano stitching fabric which i'm absolutely obsessed with i love it um this needle minder is from ginger stitch au now i said this in a previous video i'm <laughs> i'm charging this and chloe mentioned it in hers they glow in like there you go they glow in like <laughs> they glow in daylight <laughs> there we go um, which is crazy like you wouldn't expect them to glow in daylight but they do and it's amazing if you charge them with UV lights so if you charge them in the sun um, they they literally just sit here glowing on your fabric which is crazy blows my tiny mind um, all right another one of my AB Singo challenges uh, calls for September was nostalgic Ouija 
by the Witchy Stitcher. Um, this one probably had the most work out of all of them, but it did taper off a little bit. However, I've hit the bottom corner, which is amazing. <laughs> so um, I've essentially put in all of this um, for September, which is crazy to me. Um, needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. This is an 18 count black. Um, you will also see this in, oh my gosh, in, um, in October for 13 stitches of Halloween. Um, actually of, I'm just grabbing my BNS planner, of my 13 stitches of Halloween, let me flip to October. Uh, I'm pretty sure five of them, one, two, three, four, five of them are witchy stitcher whips, two are Lola Crow whips, two are Autumn Lane whips, and then the rest are just single designers. One is a new start, which I will show you after I show you my final whip. And the only reason it's still a whip is because one of my metallics has not come in yet, which is super annoying, but it is the Bella Filipina and Fibrilicious Yummy Fibers. Uh, seasonal seasons of the mermaid stitch along i'm just calling it the seasonal mermaid sale um spring was released on the 15th of september and oh holy cannoli she is glorious now i decided i'm stitching them individually so i can actually display them in the seasons um i saw someone share four fabrics in the group on facebook fell in love with that idea Picked out my first fabric, have no idea what I'm doing the others on, but we'll see what happens. Um, so my spring is literally missing the border and the word spring because I don't have my pink metallic. So this is what she looks like so far. So this is a 16 count flamingo by Laura's Fabrics. This was in the Black Needle Society box for the flamingo box. Um, Needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. Um, I am doing everything called for. So her skin is the called for. Um, everything else is the called for. I did switch out the Krynik. I switched it out for the Petite Treasure Braid because I much prefer the Petite Treasure Braid. But the beads are called for. Um, and this grey is called for. It did have a, the cold for metallic for the border was like a navy. Um, I wasn't feeling the navy. I did stitch it, sent it to Amy and Chloe and uh, proceeded to frog it. So you can see like my little, <laughs> the holes where I had stitched. Um, so I have ordered a darker pink uh, petite treasure braid. I'm literally just waiting for them to arrive in the post. Um, they were posted a couple of days ago. Once they're in, I'll be able to do spring down here, the rest of the border, and I'll be able to finish the beading. Now, I was watching Luna, Luna Witch Stitchery, I think. Luna Witch. Oh my god, I should check this before. Um, before I film. So, with stitching on... 16 count I use my not that you can tell size 26 bowhead needles now she mentioned in her video that I just watched because I'm well behind on floss tube as well is that someone recommended to her that she use bowhead size 28 needles for beading and the amount of times that I stabbed myself using the Mill Hill beading needles when I was doing the Dark Queen oh my god the amount of times I drew blood was crazy so I decided to use size 28 bowhead needle, which normally I use for everything um, because I stitch on 18 count or smaller. Um, I beaded this whole thing with a size 28 bowhead needle. And I only stabbed myself once and I didn't draw blood. <laughs> um, but that's only because my finger, sl my finger slipped. So... Love the little tip. I love that we share all this in in floss tubes. Anyway, go watch Luna Witch. She's brilliant. 
Um, I did get, before I jump into hole, I did get a couple of mentions um, on, on floss tube. Oh my God, my words. Um, so Tanya over at Stitching Addicted, she's in New Zealand. She mentioned me in her video, um, in her description, um, and it was related to stitching spring on pink. Um, Sarah Cochrane, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, she mentioned me in her video a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm about, I'm part way through it. I haven't, haven't gotten all the way through yet. I'm so behind on floss tube. Um, uh, and the lovely cat over at Cat Can so also mentioned me in her video. Um, again, I'm still watching videos from the very start of the month because that's how far I'm behind. My watch later list has got like 70, over 70 videos in it. Um, which is what I'm going to do when I finish filming is settle on the couch, continue charting in max stitch and catch up on some floss tube. Um, my haul, I don't have it here. It's with the rest of my seasonal mermaid stuff. Um, I did get most of these beads were haul, um, for the seasonal mermaid sale. Um, I got, I got the rest of the metallics in, um, and I bought some fabric because I have problems. Um, so Spotlight, which is our local craft store, got in their Halloween range. Um, I didn't get a chance to go in and get any when they first came out. Um, and then I went in a couple of weeks ago and they had 40% off. And then I went in again yesterday after I dropped some flowers off for the lady that helped my mum on Monday, the staff member. Um, and I bought um, some more because they had 40% off. Halloween fabric again. So I'm going to go through and show you what I got. <laughs> it's all Halloween fabric because I like spooky things. So this is the first, first one I got. Cute little pumpkins. Um, I got, it'd be good if I held it upright. This witchy purple one, which is, um, what I use to make one of the grime guards. I absolutely love this. Um, I got this potion fabric, which I love. I got, ah, <laughs> uh, isn't it cute? I love it. I love this fabric. I got a meter of this. I got a meter of everything. Um, I got this one. I got, <laughs> This one, which is also a grime guard that I made. Um, I got this, this witchy one. I have a theme of colors that I like, if you couldn't tell. Um, this one's probably my favorite. I absolutely love this fabric. So much so that I totally forgot that I bought it and I bought another lot of it. Which, you know, it is what it is. Um, and I got this one, which is amazing. And then I got a couple of fat quarter bundles. Um, so this one came with just some, I love, love this one. They're very orangey and black. And then this one is like a bright Halloween. Oh my God, I love the cats. I love this one. Then there's just spider web. And then this one. So I'm gonna be making some project bags <laughs> to replace a lot of those. Um, yeah. I love spooky things. I have so many spooky charts and not enough spooky project bags to put them in. Um, so I can't wait. I need to get more interfacing and I need to get more vinyl, um, which I should have got the other day, but I didn't. 
because I'm not bright. Um, they're not a priority anyway. I've got other stuff to do. Um, so yeah, that's my haul. They're my, that's my stitching. Plans for October. I have all of my um, 12 stitches of Halloween. 12, 13 stitches of Halloween. Um, plus my Humans vs. Zombies piece. Which I'm also going to use for the 13... One of the projects to stitch on for 13 days for the fandom stitching challenges. Um, my other 13 will fit for the other 13 for the, those challenges. Um, and um, I had up a story on Instagram where people voted for my new start this year for 13 stitches of Halloween. Um, because I did say, hey, I've got 12 spooky projects. Do I just start another one or pick something else? And everyone voted for a new start. Um, and the one that was voted was... Salem Sisters Apothecary from Primrose Cottage Stitches. Um, I have recharted this and put it into Pattern Keeper. Um, what I am thinking of doing is stitching this on this, which is an 18 count woodland forest by Crafty Lini. This is one of my fabric of the month fabrics. But I'm thinking of stitching it with the black silk I got from Silks For You. Um, so this has got a lot more purple in it as well. Um, it's just the way I folded the fabric of the card. So that is my pro that is my, that are, they are my plans. I have the 13 stitches on a wheel. Um, I'll spin that every two days. Each of these will get essentially two days, um, when I'm not working on my humans versus zombies piece. So yeah, 14 projects for the month of October. Not including my whip go, <laughs> which, um, which got called and I'm going for a blackout on, on whip go. So I need to get those done too. Um, and the numbers 19 and 14 were called, which will get me another bingo. Um, and that is year two by Katie Landis of the Black Needle Society and must be possible by Katie Landis of the Black Needle Society. So, need to fit in two BNS charts for three days each. Yeah, that's going to be real interesting. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, if you've made it this far, let me know what you're stitching on. If you're doing 13 stitches of Halloween or if you're stitching on one project for 13 days, um, let me know what you're working on. Um, don't forget if you do want to share that on Instagram, tag Athena so she can see because the algorithm is, you know, not playing ball with anyone at the moment. Um, even though you use a hashtag, not all, not all, um, um, not all posts show up, which is, which is really weird. Um, don't forget to jump into the vault on the 1st of October to get any overstock items from the... Oh my god, once upon a stitch box. Mine still hasn't come, but like I said, you want to be in there because there's an item in the box that you need if you're a fan of the Black Needle Society. Um, use my code Stitch by Liz to get yourself 5% off. Who knows, maybe in October I'll be a zombie. We'll see. <laughs> Do all the YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.